Hello everyone and welcome back to Suzanne Strother's YouTube channel. I am here to bring you a new kind of video. This one is not a car vlog, nor a vlog of me going somewhere, nor a haul that I've done tremendous damage and shopping, but today I am bringing you a surprise in the bag. What's in this bag? And most importantly, why is it in a Christmas bag? Can anybody guess? Can anybody guess what this is inside of this bag? Well, it is some things that I had purchased in the past. So that means it's things that I've had and I have forgot that I had and used, but did I like them? Would I repurchase them? Is it a yes? Is it no? The scale is moving up and down. Not sure if I want to keep it. Not sure if I want to purchase it. Would I buy it again? That kind of thing. So I thought I would just like surprisingly, randomly take out the whatever is in this bag one at a time, go through it. At the end of this, at the end of it, I will take it to the trash, not tonight, because I am tired and that will come on another day, but I will take it to the trash eventually. So let's get started, shall we? Oh, what am I gonna, what am I gonna get out first? I'm gonna get out first. Oh, well, this is weird. It's things that I really don't remember getting or having. So this was evidently Julep Beauty Makeup Remover Towels. And evidently, I still had several. And they are still wet a little bit, not much. But evidently, I guess I did not like them. Therefore, I did not use them all. So that's gone. I won't repurchase that. I did like this. It's called the Juice Beauty Organic Solution Green Apple Brightening Emulsion. So I did like this for before you put on your toner, your moisturizer, your makeup, your foundation, blah, blah, blah. I did like it. I really did like it. And I would repurchase this again. It is expensive and it's sold at Ulta and it is made of glass. But I might repurchase it. Is there any stuff left in it? What? There actually was a little bit left. So it just makes your skin feel really clean and fresh. Has a really beautiful smell to it. Very clean. So I would definitely repurchase. Glam and Glow Super Cleans Clean Cream Foam Cleanser. You guys, I didn't really, I remember having this and I did not like it because look what color it is. Would that freak you out of just a little bit? That kind of color going on her face? Just a little bit? That would freak this is old carpet. Who's going to know any difference? But yes, I did not like it at all. Therefore, I will not be repurchasing this. It was just a very odd feeling on the skin. I did not like the glam and glow. Nor did I like the texture of it. The Avino Daily Moisturize, Moisturizing Facial Cleanser. I did like this product. I do remember using it. I do remember using it on the face and I really liked the uh, feeling of being fresh. So I did like it a whole lot and it was the Avino Daily Moisturizing Face Cleanser. I do remember using this and I remember liking it. Okay. I do have a hate on here. I hated 
Do you get me with the word hate? So, okay, you know how on all YouTube makeup people, they're all about the drunk elephant products? I don't see the love for it. I really do not see the love for it. I do not see why people like it and why they spend the type of money they do on these products because to me, it made my skin feel dry. Absolutely horrifyingly dry. So I had gotten the Protein Polyptide Cream Drunk Elephant Moisturizer for me to put on before I put on my makeup. I hated it. I literally hated it. And I think there's still some product in there. And you folks out there, I spent a whole heck of a lot of money on this and it is ridiculous that I am wasting it and throwing it away, but I did not like it at all. It made my skin feel dry. And if your skin is like overly dry like mine at times, in the winter it's more oily and the summer it's more dry feeling. So it just made it drier. It was horrible. Okay, getting on into the shower gels, Bath and Body. You gotta love Bath and Body Works. Those of you that do not like Bath and Body Works, who are you? Where are you? What, what, what hole have you been hiding in? I know it may be because of the prices. The prices of Bath and Body Works is ridiculous, and I am often thinking about just transferring and using some other product because I have literally found out now that Bath and Body Works flavors are not long lasting. They used to be very long lasting. If you remember me, you know, if you know, back in the day, the products would last forever. Right now, not so. So this was the Bath and Bubbly Bubbly Rosé. It had a very good, nice, sweet smell. It smelled wonderful, but it just doesn't last. The Happy Halloween Candy Marshmallow Soaps. I'm a big fan of their soaps. I do like their soaps, and I don't remember exactly how this one smelled, but I do remember using all of it because it's empty, and I liked it. I don't know if necessarily I would repurchase these flavors again, but I did enjoy having them at the time I did. Uh, this one I did not finish. It was the Delia by Bath & Body Works. I guess I wasn't all that crazy about the smell. I, I wasn't really crazy about it. It was like a honey, vinegary, I don't know. I just, I was not crazy about the smell at all. Pure Wonder, there is still a little bit of uh, lotion left in here. I do remember using Pure Wonder and I do remember it being very light. And I wasn't crazy about it being so light, not very much scent to it. Here was the Rosé Bubbly. I did like their lotion. Bubbly Rosé was pink. Very nice branding and packaging. The Infallible L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. You guys, I was like, OG, would not use anything else but this brand of foundation. And I have found a better kind. And that is the Milani, Milani Foundation. Milani Foundation is the ultra best. The ultra best product you can use. It's windy, folks. Windy in the Texas Panhandle. Literally making my door, screen door, make noises and it scares me half to death. This was the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. As you can tell, I did use a lot of it and I was OG about that one as well, but I have found a better brand and that is the Milani Foundation. Feel Renewed Pumpkin Walnut Facial Cleanser. I do remember using this and I do remember getting this in the FabFitFun subscription box service that I used to get a long, long time ago when I did have money and I don't have money. So therefore I have quit the subscription because I thought, you know, that's ultra ridiculous paying for that much for that much stuff. 
So I do remember using this face wash and I remember not liking it because of the texture. I am all sensitive about textures, people. Uh, dry towel, dry rag, anything dry feeling, it, I go ultra crazy and I cannot touch it. And that was one that I will not repurchase. Pure Wonder, Shower Gel, used it all. But I did not like the scent because it was too light. The Murad Hydration Hydrating Toner. I do remember getting this and I do remember getting this in the FabFitFun subscription box service that I used to have and I do not anymore. And I do remember liking this toner. Murad. Red and Murad. I don't remember how to say it. We're getting to the bottom. Not much left. Crema Reserve Shade Cream. Folks, I, of all things in shaving creams, I hate these kind of bottles. I hate my like, toothpaste. I hate it. I literally hate this brand of shaving cream. It did absolutely, positively nothing for me. I hated it. Getting into makeup, fully charged, pure magnetic technology mascara. I do remember using this. I do remember getting in the Fat Fit Fun subscription service or the other makeup subscription service that I used to be on, which are not anymore because I can't afford it because I'm broke, teacher broke, hashtag teacher broke. You gotta love it. Anyway, I remember using that and I remember not liking it. The Rosé All Day Mascara, Physician's Formula. Did not like it either. Crapo, not repurchasing that. Tula, learned some things about Tula products. So when I went to Ulta one time, there was a makeup, it was the, oh my gosh, what was it? I can't remember what it was called. I had to link it down or put it down in the wording on my video, but I can't remember it. But she said the Tula products will make you dry. And she was more than correct. The Tula products I was all for for a very long time, and I do not like the Tula products anymore. Their products are very drying to the skin and they make you stay dry. So therefore, do not buy Tula. Do not, do not, do not even go, do not even look at it if you go into Ulta. Go the other direction or Sephora. Do not look, do not let the light, you know the mod, go into the light. Do not let it take you Do not. <laughs> Just don't go to the Tula products. They are, no. They are a waste. Do not buy them. Kenra hair products, yes. I love all Kenra products. So this is the Blow Dry Spray Advanced Dry Thermal Protectant. I definitely would repurchase this. I do like Kenra products. I'm very um, into the products right now. I'm using a spray that I got. Imperfect 2-in-1 Foundation. I absolutely love Milani foundation. And this color was the 00 BB nude. And I have done a lot of repurchasing and I have gotten different colors. I have never gotten the same colors. It's always different ones. The 00 BB for beige. And I combine these two and mix them. And I've gotten different bottles each time. Yeah, because I can't stay consistent. I never can remember the number. Okay, we're almost to the end. And I just found a pencil sharpener. Interesting. I'm like, what else am I going to find in here? I don't know why I have a pencil sharpener. Who knows? Okay, 
getting to the end. Sorry guys, I have a headache today. I am really tired. So the Bambi Oversized Eye Mascara, I can't, oh, L'Oreal. I do remember liking this mascara just a little bit. I, I didn't think it was terribly bad. I might repurchase it. The Superstay Matte Ink Maybelline Lipstick, I wasn't a very much fan on it just because it was just didn't go on very smoothly and it was patchy. Um, this is an OG mascara that I used since I was in college. Great Lash by Maybelline. It was the pink and lime green brand, uh, branding packaging. And I, I would go back to it. I mean, I repurchase it all the time when I can't find what I need. So I would go back and repurchase that. The Anastasia Beverly Hills mascara. I really can't remember if I like this brand or not. It kind of depends on the brush. Yeah, see, I don't like thick brushes. I don't like goop. So I did not like that one. Yet, that was the brand before. The lady that was at Ulta was a IT cosmetic vendor, worked for that company, and she was the one that triggered me off of Tula and told me Tula was a very bad product and how it dried out your skin. And she was right. It did dry out my skin a lot. Superhero It Mascara. I think I might have liked this mascara. The brush, although it's a little bit big, it did go on pretty well. So as you can the surprise see. of my bag, I just figured why the heck not video something, something kind of different, kind of on edge on the edge of your seat, just to kind of say, hey, let's get out a cup of Coke or a cup of coffee, some tea, a snack, and just chat with me and talk about products. I am all about products, people. I love to go shopping. I love to try different makeup products. I mean, makeup brands out there, if you can hear me, if you see my videos, just know I would like to be a sponsor or like to uh, critique something. I would like to be gifted something on YouTube. It's <laughs> the whole reason I want to do this. I want to be gifted something. I want to try out new things. People, okay, quick story. So I, I'm sorry. It, it's been quite a day and two past days. Ugh, okay. So a quick story. When I went on my shopping frenzy on last Friday, I was going into Sephora to try out and buy, I kid you not, I was going to buy every stick and single color of Selena Gomez Rare Beauty product lip stain lip glosses. To my dismay, I went over and they were completely sold out completely sold out every color, every sticking color, even the one I wanted to try. Asked the lady at the register, I said, um, I want to try your rare beauty product with this lip stains. Do y'all have any more in stock? And she said, <laughs> they went out. We cannot keep them in inventory. You can order them, but they go out of stock online. And I was like, okay, I was telling my mom this story. I'm like, remember the time that we were watching YouTube and we could go out and get the product and not have to be like racing to the races to get something that we really wanted to try. We could just reach for it and buy it and grab it and I would think twice about it. Nowadays, it's like every day is Black Friday and... Um, what's that other one? Black Friday and something Monday. Uh, what's it called? Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Every day is like Black Friday and Cyber Monday shopping. You can't get it. You can't grab it. It's out. I mean, even when it comes back in stock, you may or you may not get it. 
I'm just like, holy cannoli people. I used to remember that and I'm like, now I can't. So now I have to like try to figure out and then press it and then hope to the, the good grand station that I get it, people. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So therefore, I didn't get to try it. Therefore, they were out. Therefore, I went out moping. <laughs> Literally got in my car and I'm like, and you can see the story also on my other blog. Goodbye. And I hope everybody is having a great week so far. We are almost to the end of the road of the week. I have exactly 12 more days of school. I couldn't be even more excited about that. And it's just been an interesting week in two days. But yeah. Definitely an interesting day, interesting week, to say the least. But I hope everybody has a blessed day, and I want to stop doing this and doing this. But I will see y'all in my next video. You lovely people out there, if you haven't subscribed already, please click that subscribe button. Click the subscribe button first, then a like, share it, and then love it. And subscribe to me and you get to see my interesting funny face on every video <laughs> I'm so tired y'all have a wonderful day good evening and good night folks bye I mean it was time bye